When we think of studying space and the universe, we often think of men and women in white suits with bubble helmets blasting off to the moon and other planets to collect samples and tell us about their experiences. This is still the case sometimes, but more often than not, NASA is able to use robotic technology and even telescopes here on Earth to explore new galaxies and send home photos of discoveries. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting discoveries. Scientists discover two dusty galaxies at the edge of the universe. Two galaxies were discovered just beyond the edge of the universe. They formed over 13 billion years ago, which is just 8 million years after the Big Bang birthed the universe itself. The astonishing part is that they have been hidden all this time behind a thick cloud of dust. At the Research Institute of Science and Engineering at Waseda University and the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan in Mitaka, Tokyo, astronomer Yoshinobu Fudamoto led a team of scientists in discovering these galaxies. It was by sheer luck that some out-of-focus patterns of extra light emissions were spotted while Fudamoto and his team, who have studied 40 other galaxies, were focused on two galaxies, Rebels 12 and Rebels 29. The extra light was coming from a location several thousand light-years further than the brighter galaxies the team had their attention on. The main tool used by Fudamoto's team, who are part of a program called Reionization Era Bright Emission Line Survey, was the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array. ALMA is an extrasensitive interferometer that is capable of seeing across incredible distances and through dusty environments. One astonishing feature of ALMA is it has the ability to see objects in the Cosmic Dawn era when stars and galaxies first formed. The newly discovered galaxies have been named Rebels 12-2 and Rebels 29-2. They are invisible in UV and optical light. ALMA was able to pick them up because of its sensitivity to faraway infrared wavelengths. The discovery of these two galaxies points to the possibility that one in five galaxies at cosmic dawn are hidden by thick clouds of dust. It is suggested by Fudamoto and those working with him that a blind wide area survey to find more galaxies hidden in this way should happen in the future. This will possibly add to or change the knowledge we have for models of star and galaxy formation during this notable time. It's a richly satisfying feeling to know that entire galaxies teeming with stars were already thriving 800 million years ago at the very dawn of the universe. James Webb's first photos will include the deepest image of our universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is NASA's largest and most powerful space telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope's home is known as L2, a spot in space near Earth opposite the Sun. The James Webb Space Telescope will be able to stay in line with Earth as it orbits the Sun. This is also a popular spot for other telescopes, including the Herschel Space Telescope and the Planck Space Observatory. The purpose of the James Webb Space Telescope is to send back the deepest images of our universe that have ever been taken. Scientists have been anticipating these photos for the past six to eight months. When comparing test photos of stars in the Milky Way with Spitzer Space Telescope, which was launched in 2003, the James Webb Space Telescope images are much crisper, more focused and richer in color. While there is still speculation about which early universe objects will be focused on as well as the age of these targets, it's suggested the image will show the most ancient space objects we have ever seen. According to Bill Nelson, a NASA administrator, the James Webb Space Telescope image may supersede the Hubble Space Telescope series of deep image fields. It's hoped that Webb will show galaxies in our universe that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, which was approximately 13.7 billion years ago. NASA is also eagerly awaiting Webb's first spectrum of an exoplanet, which is a planet that orbits outside of our solar system. The amount of light emitted at certain wavelengths will be measured and will give indications of the chemistry of the planet as well as its formation history. This is an exciting time for NASA and space exploration. Milestones are definitely being met, and with any luck, 
expectations will be exceeded. Astronauts suffer significant permanent bone density loss in space. If you've ever dreamt of being an astronaut as a child, it's likely the images that rolled through your mind were you floating through space, discovering unknown planets and galaxies, and maybe even making friends with some outer space creatures. Something that probably didn't cross your mind is the toll that space exploration might take on the human body. It has been revealed that astronauts who spend six months in space lose bone density equivalent to 20 years on Earth. When measured over a year, it was found that only about 50% of the lost bone density returns to the astronauts who were on six-month missions. A lack of gravity is the culprit response for bone density loss. On Earth, gravity has us putting weight and resistance on our muscles and bones, but zero gravity makes astronauts weightless. 17 astronauts make up this study. 14 men and 3 women who have all flown on the International Space Station in the last 7 years. The average age of the participants was 47. The members of the study hailed from various countries including NASA from the US, the Canadian Space Agency, the European Space Agency and the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. Lee Gable, a University of Calgary professor, worked with the astronauts for a year after they returned to Earth. Of the 17 study participants, nine of the crew members experienced permanent bone mineral density loss. Each of the astronauts spent between four and seven months in space. In order to counteract the bone density loss at the rate it is currently happening, space agencies need to put new and stronger measures in place. One crucial act is in-flight resistance training aboard the International Space Station. It has also been proven that deadlifts are an excellent way to recuperate lost bone density. When astronauts do them in space, they are more likely to gain back more lost bone density on Earth. The bone most greatly affected by space travel is the tibia. Astronauts lost an average of 2.1% bone density in this lower leg bone with a reduced bone strength of 1.3%. Finer bone structures are also at risk. During spaceflight, they thin, and some of the bone rods come apart. Once back on Earth, the astronaut can experience bone connections, thickening and strengthening, but any that have disconnected cannot be rebuilt. This changes the astronaut's overall bone structure permanently. NASA Flight Center has also stated there is a medical strain for astronauts' cardiovascular system. Without the pull of gravity, blood can collect in the upper body and not be pulled to the lower extremities. There is hope that with further research, the physical symptoms of space travel will be mitigated. Space travel and exploration are fascinating topics. There are vast amounts of discoveries still to be made, but each new piece of information leads to more understanding of what is out there and how it came to be. Unfortunately, the study of space does not come without a cost, both financially and health-wise. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.